Good afternoon, space flight enthusiasts. Have some pretty big news for you in regards to Rocket Lab, news that has caused this company's stock to absolutely skyrocket today. California based space company Rocket Lab, of course, we all know that it's a New Zealand founded company, but nevertheless, based in California now, will launch more hypersonic test vehicles for the U.S. military as part of the DoD's investment in hypersonic technology. Technology. Rocket Lab announced on January 7th that it will be part of a team led by defense contractor Kratos for the Multi Service Advanced Capability Hypersonic Testbed, or Mach TB 2.0, which is tasked with ramping up the capacity for hypersonic test flights. Rocket Lab's HASTE, or Hypersonic Accelerator Suborbital Test Electron, is a variant of the company's workhorse Electron Launcher designed to launch hypersonic test vehicles on suborbital flights. On November 24th of last year, Rocket Labs used haste to complete a suborbital mission for the second time from the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport or Mars on Virginia's Wallops Island, which tested hypersonic technology for the Department of Defense. With this new agreement, it looks like the New Zealand-based company will be launching more. Quote, we're thrilled to be part of the Kratos-led team for the next iteration of the Mach TB program and ready to serve the U.S. Department of Defense with even more high cadence hypersonic technology with our haste launch vehicle, Brian Rogers, Rocket Labs Vice President of Global Launch Services, said in a statement. After 25 test flights under a previous program, the new Mach TB 2.0 program aims to increase the Pentagon's capabilities to launch launch and test hypersonic vehicles. The five-year contract for the Mach TB 2.0 worth $1.45 billion, that's a huge figure for a company like Rocket Lab, was established by the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering Test Resource Management Center, an office that advises U.S. military leadership on research and engineering, specifically on emerging technologies. The TRM make sure all the necessary infrastructure is in place for testing new hardware. Rocket Lab's leadership touted the company's track record with these types of test launches. Quote, our demonstrated ability to date to deliver successful haste launches that test these new technologies is a testament to our dedication in advancing hypersonic innovation for the nation alongside our government and industry partners. Now, with Mach TB 2.0 in place, Rocket Lab will continue their work on hypersonic technology by helping with the launches starting this year. And incidentally, quite a number of financial analysts have significantly increased the estimated value for Rocket Lab stock as a result of this contract. To give you an idea of just how much the stock has gone up, on April 1st of 2024, Rocket Lab stock was sitting at about $4.08 a share and it didn't increase much for a great portion of the year. However, it started to accelerate towards the end of 2024 and as of this recording, the stock is at $30.49. $30.49 as opposed to $4.08 in just over eight months. That's an increase of over 500%. Now, again, I'm not here to advise you on stock purchases or anything like that. But speaking as an investor who did invest in Rocket Lab at the beginning of 2024, well, all of this puts me in a pretty good mood. I'll keep you up to date on how things go with this company and other spaceflight related industries, regardless of how big they might be in the mainstream news these days. So until next time, I'm stay angry about space.